First of all, thank you for, for coming for this talk. My name is Rodrigo Murta. I will talk a little bit uh, of the use of Wolfram language in retail. Yes, it's a very applied example. Uh, before I go to code and this thing, I will present to you about uh, Marche. Marche is a retail group in Brazil. There are three brands. It's Saint Marche, Santa Maria, and Italy. That Italy, I don't know if it's a very cool supermarket brand in New York, Chicago, Dubai, Italy, yes. <laughs> and now Marche is bringing uh, Italy into Brazil, in Sao Paulo, Brazil, next year, January, I hope. And here are just some nice picture of our stores in, in Brazil. In the last one, it's I think that's Chicago, Italy, because it's not done there. And the main purpose of this talk is see how we can apply Wolfram language in retail, in business. Yes, and we have a lot of application of Wolfram language in Marche. And I will divide this presentation in three parts: Wolfram scripts, and front end, and in the last, Web Mathematica. Here's just a, a fancy visualization for someone who will want to see the, how it's structured later, okay? Here are the, brain, the main branches of that. And here's the feature. I really would like to make some tests with Wolfram Cloud because I think that they have a lot of application reports and this kind of things. And so on. Let's start with Wolfram scripts, yes? Today, I have, let me come back in here. I have it more organized here. Okay. Today, this is our GitHub repository for some a little zoom. For, for our script, you have 30, 35 scripts running in most different parts of the company. Yes, here there are all, let me take one here this kind of uh, files, yes. It's the new one, this is the, uh, the old .aim file that now it's Wolfram language officially, yes. <laughs> and, and how it works. We have a server, and this server make the automated report with Windows scheduler task. So I can program this to every Monday, send this report to execute this code, not a report. Some days are, are report, but and the most part are ETR instructor, or you have web scrapper that goes to some competitor site, take the price and get it in your database, yes. And these are, are the Wolfram scripts. And I show you, you don't have time to, to walk in all of the scripts. And some of them are not so interesting. And I, I select some of them to, to get a, a little bit more in detail. What is the idea here? It's how can you use Wolfram language to create automated reports, yes, using this kind of scripts in, in their server. What's the advantage of Wolfram language for that? Is that I, I like to say that the good reports are reports that my grandmother can understand. It's just use colors, yes, and if it's some problem, oh, my son, yes, there is a problem here. And how you can do that in Mathematica? You can use outliers, you can use statistical tools to make the report very easy to read. So you go, you have in supermarket, all business, we have a lot of information. So the smart report, you can get directly in the, in the trouble. And here's an example. You don't need to be expert in this report, or no details. To so the idea of these reports, it's if, if you read something, you have to pay attention. Our manager of this uh, store has to pay attention in this number and make some action on that. And we have a, a very nice hierarchy of distribution of these reports. So first, uh, the manager of the store, if this keep it like this, so it go deeper to the manager of the, uh, a bunch of stores, and so on to the CEO of the company, yes? And this kind of intelligence, it's, it's, it, we have a, a lot of, of things that can be done in this, in this way. And here is so if it's had, you have some problems to solve here too. And this report is sent all day to all the managers of the company, and we have more than 10 reports of these kind of things uh, work like that. And more, you can send just when you have a, uh, you don't have to overflow your team with reports. Just if you have outliers, same day, this information, okay? 
here it's um, I have some link here. This is how the report is structured. So it's almost I, I, I follow some some pattern that get to database connection, make all the SQL, and take the information, create the report components, create uh, the report itself, and make the distribution of the report sent bit by email. Okay. In future, I would really like to use the now the new notebook template. I think that would be great for this kind of distribution. This is the first one. The second one, it's automatic order entry. It's a report very similar. So we have a lot, a bunch of outliers here. So we can easily follow trend lines, see what happens, and easily discover this. We are changing the system. So it's very clear that we have a problem this week, yes? And it can track, easily track information if you have a problem in the company or, or something wrong. Uh, you see the pattern of the report. It's, this is a little bit more complicated because I, I have a lot of reports like that, so I use package. So I have the package here with each one, and they have a very similar structure with SQL inside it, get SQL, make the calculation over it, create report components, create reports, and send in, in final send it by mail. And price link, it's one that was interesting in, in retail. It's sometimes you have to have a link between, the, this is a very simple example, we have a much more complicated one. And each one of this Coke, this should be cheaper, cheaper than the high Coke, yes? So when you put this in the database, you have a lot of link between them. And when all this link, you can make this graph and you can compare how much one is cheaper than the other if they are respecting the volumetry of, of the item and if there are some inconsistencies. I think that this was a, a strange application of find cycles. That's the new function of version 10. So I can't have a cycle here because it's like this is cheaper than this, 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 and, and go on to the first one. And more, you have a lot of more complication relation like this one. So I have a cycle here, or I don't have. It's not just visual. I, I have to make this in an automat automatic way. And it, mathematics is trivial to, to, to do these kind of things. So this first part, it, I would like to show just some bunch. These are, are automatic scripts. So I don't have to do anything. It's just run in my server. Some, for example, this price critics. It's every day uh, the server show me and send some email for, oh, there's some inconsistency here. There's a price that it's cheaper than it should be. So correct this, yes? The another block, it's notebook reports. So we have here, so here we have a notebook. In this notebook, you have to interact with this to create something. In this one, we did Excel spreadsheets created by Mathematica, yes? So I have here in Windows, it's just like this. It's a nice application of, of association. And this here is our product hierarchical tree. So each one is uh, some like of, I take association and populate with that in, at the end. And I use this structure to, to make a very simple dynamic, dynamics and create the report. I think that I have internet connection here. Wolfram today was not so lucky as I am, I think so. DGA, yes. So here, it's going to my database, yes. Make some calculation here. And after this, it will take the calculation, put in a spreadsheet. And actually, now, nowadays, mathematics is not so good to make nice, fancy formatting in, in Excel. So I have to, to make a VB script that mathematically do all the process, call the VB script, format this, this spreadsheet, and, and give the result, yes? I think that I'm not so looked to. But I have one done here. It's line review. There are just like this, the end uh, result. So here I have all my products, 
and I have, I have a lot of nice calculation here to do the which major products by quantity, by volume, by demand, by a lot of, of, of. And here I take some stores, I get closer of the stores, I see if the product is the correct store or, or isn't. So it's a lot of, of nice stuff. And I just use VB script to format this, this material. Yes. So we have a lot of meeting. Oh, it's working, yes, it's just slow, but it's working. So it's go in the database. And in this case here, I have just two, two sectors. It's whiskey and liquor, I don't know, liquor, you know? Liquor, yes. And in here, the, in the, as the result, it's almost done. Here just reproduce uh, the, the report and people can use in, in the company. This uh, next one, it was very interesting because it's very different. Uh, this is our meat planogram, distributor of meat in, in the supermarket. So now we have 16 stores at the end of the year, 90 stores. And which is the best way to distribute this in the shelf? Because sometimes come a new guy for this department, you have a high turnover in the company, and start to produce all wrong. So what's the best way to distribute these products in the shelf and give how you have to make the order of this, this production, yes? And I have made some calculations in Mathematica to do this. It's the, a very nice way to distribute this is filet, how do I say that? Yes, uh, and these are the kind of the types of, of meeting and the subtype of meetings in how it should be distributed on, on the shelf. I have, at, I, I think that affects six month sales on, on that to get a, a robust stock on, on information. And I distribute this on, on the shelf with some corrections because sometimes I, I don't have this product of these guys not producing it correctly, so I can't make this error to, uh, 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 propagate, yes. And I have a little of a manual uh, uh, adjust in, in the final, but here I can show you the, the code. It's very, we have all the same, same flow, get all my, my, I have, I'll start with getting something of my database, yes, make some calculation, area of planogram, blah, blah, and here, I just choose the store, and here is the, the, the design, the best design for that this algorithm has, has made. And you have rollout in, in the store. It's very easy to understand, and you have discussed a lot what's the best way to do that, because the, the old way was a list, and no one read the list, it confirmed, no, no, a picture. <laughs> just make a picture and follow this picture, so it works very nice. Yes, but you have a lot of intelligence behind this picture to make the, the correct distribution of the material. And this is just one more report, but this we use an interface with Excel. A lot of this information are not in our database, so it creates a template Excel that can be easily filled. So just execute notebook, notebook make all the rest of the work and send, send it here, and send the email in the final of the code. It's here, uh, export report. And this is one? No, I think so. Yes, this is one. And he send the report for all the stuff that should receive this using Excel. Please. So, so you just fill in the Excel spreadsheet. How do you get the back? What? I'm sorry. Eh? Do you just fill in the Excel spreadsheet? No, this is a specific uh, user of my staff to, to distribute. In this report, this is an, an exception. When I have to use notebook, I use I, this, this guy has Mathematica to, to work on that. And some other studs, I see my time is okay. Sales forecast, it's, it's an interesting case of using of Sarima. Yes, you have here the code. So I have to enable dynamics, yes. So here I use Sarima. It's, it's interesting because uh, the CEO of the company showed this, oh, okay, it's nice, but I want to, I believe that next year I, I, I want a little bit more than this, or a little bit less, so here, uh, we are doing this together, it's not completely done. He can play here and put the feeling. Yeah, Sarima do a lot of job and go there and, and change, okay, <laughs> no problem. So you can have both words to make people use it to, to, to these techniques. 
And here, you just copy to Excel. You have a copy button here. Yes, so if you go to Excel now, you can paste it, the, the information. Yes, you have to make some, some tests on that. I'm trying to convince some financial people that that's best to use Sarima than a lot of crazy stuff that they do today, you don't understand. Sales performance, it's a, a brand new study that we are doing there too. It's a big challenge to discover. We have the whole company and sales get up, sales get down. What happens? What's the best way to, to, to see that and in, in how it works? I'm not getting into details now because I have uh, a small time, but it's very interesting. You can use a lot of temporal series, you can put a special event here to know uh, with some, something happening in some store, and how can I make it really fa easy and visual to distribute this, this kind of information? And search for gas, it performs a little bit. It is the last one from, from, not from the presentation, for this one. It's how we study uh, behavior of our clients, the distribution of your clients. Now we have a relationship program inside the company. And one, one question that was very old inside the company, whoa, I will open a new store here. My market team should work in which area of the company, yes? And this was one question. The other question was investors. Oh, you don't need to open a store like this. You already have a one kilometer store, so it's not necessary. So we start to just begin the study of this, and we have a nice export to Google Earth. So in Google Earth, you can really these in green are, are, are stars. Here, all this is created in mathematical, all the stuff, all the, the layers, and exported in, in, in Google Earth. So it's, it's great because now you can do things like this. Here, I put the competitors, and whoa, they have a lot more stores. We have space to build much more stores in Sao Paulo. This is the biggest retail, the, the red one in Sao Paulo. Yes, and these are used to investors to understand, for example, stores that are very close to one other. Uh, but yes, it's a very dense population zone. It's no problem to if it's just one kilometer of distance of this. And all this is done using Mathematica. And we are just a little bit out of the time. And I will show you the last one. That's a completely different from all this. That the use of Web Mathematica that it was for me a surprise. Uh, we started to think about this last year here in the conference. And how could I do something just like Wolfram Alpha, but for my company, yes? So people can ask things in, in, in the system and get some answer. And from this, we come with Delph. It was, it was Alpha, in, but I have some problems to have change for Delph. And it's amazing because we have this number of, of search in the system right now. Last month, we had 55,000 search in the system. And it's nice because people can just ask really, really simple questions like, what was my goal of last year? And they have the, the answer, yes, in, in the system. And I can show you, this is the last part. The, the English version, it's, it's brand new. <laughs> so it's here. So they can do this in Portuguese. Portuguese is much more complicated than English to do that. Just sales, I can say this in 50, not 15, 50 ways, just the verb in, in many combinations. And now the office understand all these combinations, like a morph morphological analysis that it worked before the parsing. And here I have user requests that is very interesting. These are questions that the users are doing those uh, right now in, in the system. So you can see here, it, it's uh, two minutes ago in, in Brazilian time, is this, this, it's what he's asking. It's, it's a product, Shandong, have top sales, you have sales, sales, goals, products, PLUs, and fiscal notes, and a brand nice uh, uh, question. And it's, it, this is what I use for learning what users are doing. And with this, I, I create new questions that I can answer in, with, with the system. Yes, I can. Yes. I have no interpretation. My database is logged. So I see I can crunch that 
And so, whoa, this is very interesting. Let's put in the system, yes. The parser is basically a bunch of regular expressions today, yes. And I use association to make the tag of the phrase now. I, I really like this in version 10 because it's much more easy to break all my, my phrase and using association to get the pieces uh, uh, and make the understand on, on that. It's much more faster and, and easier to handle the information. I use a lot of, but for this, yes. And yes, thank you. I, I'd like to thank you so much, sponsor for the third time the conference here. Yes, uh, both from team, the opportunity to present this talk. And I really would like to thank John Food for undoing version 10. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>